Hello guys, this is Tettyworks and in this Procreate tutorial I'm gonna show you how to draw an easy landscape inside a bird step by step. Before we begin, you can download the brushes, colors and the photo we will use via the link below. If you like my YouTube tutorials, you can find more in-depth tutorials and exclusive brush sets on my Patreon page, it is also linked in the description below. Without further ado, let's grab our pencils and get started. I've created a square canvas in the dimensions of 2000 by 2000 pixels, 300 dpi. Before we start drawing a landscape, let's create a bird silhouette. For that I'm going to use an image that I found on unsplash.com. So I will first insert the file. Now we can also flip it horizontal and scale it. We will need more space inside the bird for the landscape, so let's make it big. We can also adjust the angle and location. Let's keep some space on top of the bird and also on the tail for the paint splashes. So I will put it here. Now we can deselect it and try to remove the background. Before doing it, let's go to adjustments and select curves. I will move the sliders in the opposite directions until they almost meet in the center. This way the bird will get black and the background will get almost white. We will reach maximum contrast. Now we need to remove these white gaps. So I will pick black color right from the bird and use monoline from calligraphy set. I will just make it full size and paint on the white areas quickly. Here we can make the size smaller to be more accurate. Now we can start removing the background. For that let's go to selection and pick automatic mode but without color fill option. Next we need to tap on the background and make sure it is selected correctly. You may need to slide to the sides to adjust the selection threshold. And after that click feather. I will set the amount to 1%. It will be enough. After that let's swipe three fingers down and click cut. This way the edge will be smooth. Now we can change the bird's color. If we go to the layer and apply alpha lock. Let's now select the first color next to the background. Go back to the layer and in the menu select fill layer. It will be all recolored. And after that I will change the background color into dark one, which is called background. Now it is ready, we can start painting. In the next steps I'm going to create new layers and clip them to the bird's silhouette to keep the painting inside. So let me do it. I'm applying a clipping mask, then go into the color disk and I will double tap at the bottom to select pure black color. Now we have two options. We can either use selection or continue using a brush. I will go with mono line. I will just separate the wing from the body and also create the ground for the trees and animals. Let me go a little down. I will make it as rocks and then go up again. Match it with the tail. Now we need to outline it all. Outside the bird. Connect it. And drag the color under the line. To fill it. Also I'd like to remove the smoothness of the line. We can do it easily using liquify. Let's find it in adjustments. And select crystals. I've set pressure and distortion to maximum values and the size can be set to around 30%. I will just work on the edge and move the pencil. 
you can adjust the size at your preference. This is how it will look. Ok. Now we can also add the trees. I'd like to draw them on the right side and give some space for the animal. I think we can place the trees on a separate layer. Let's create it between these two. And it will be already clipped. Now let's find a brush. It's in the brush set, which is called Bird Landscape, and it is called Watercolor Trees. We just need to pick the size. Since they're on the foreground, they can be big enough. I will set the size to around 45% and start making strokes. We can lift the pencil up from the canvas and paint again. I will make this area pure black to make a smooth transition with the tail. We can now move them however we want. I will just place it like this. And now, as I said, we can also place a deer. Actually, you can use any animal stems that you have. I used this one in one of the landscapes already. So let me use it again. We can also create one more layer. No worries, we will merge them later. But right now we can place it separately, so we can move it. Let's set it to about 6% and tap. Then I will match it with the rocks. So it will stand somewhere here. Make sure it is not flying. Ok, this is almost ready. We can actually merge the deer with the trees. But keep this dark part separately. Because we will shade it later. Now I will create one more layer right above the bird, so we can start applying more green colors. I'll be changing colors according to their darkness. So let's start with the darkest one, which is number 7. And here I will just add a row of trees. So let's select the brush, lower the size a little bit, maybe set it to around 30%, and make strokes like this. Here I will make them upper. Just a few more. And this is done. We can now create one more layer below this one. So now let's pick a lighter color, which is number 6. And this time I will first use monoline to draw the surface for another animal. Let me start from here and make something like this. I will also finish outlining it and then fill. Let's also work on the edge first. Here I will use liquify again. Just move the pencil. Actually, we can now draw the trees, maybe even on the same layer. So let's select it. I will make the size even smaller. And just make a few strokes. Keeping space for the animal. Maybe I will make a stroke on this side as well. We can now move it a little down. And actually there is a place for two animals. But I have only one left, which is mother bear. And with the same color, I will first place it on another layer, so we can move it around. Here the size is also set to around 5 or 6%. And I'm tapping. 
Ok, we need to make it smaller, since it is located further. And I will place it here. Match it with the surface. We can now merge this two. And create another one below. Let's pick a lighter color. Number 5. And this time I will draw on the trees. So let's select the brush. I will keep it in the same size. And just make strokes like this. Down and up. Let's now pick the next color. Create another layer below this one. And here I will also draw trees. A little higher. In the end I will draw mountains. So let's pick this color number 3. And also go to change the brush. I will be using this brush called Glazed Ink. It's from my Ink and Stippling set, which is available on my Patreon. I'm just selecting the size, I think around 10%. Let's create a new layer below these trees and just draw a triangle. That'll go to the side. Now we can go even lighter with color number 2 and apply it on another layer, right below the previous one. This time I will make a triangle like this. Now, as I said, you can move all these layers until you like the result. I think I will keep it as it is now and also place the sun, since I have some space. We need to select some yellow color let me go to the color disk. I want to make it saturated. And I will put it here. Let me use the same brush. Maybe I will make one more layer so I can move the sun. I will place it under all mountains. Make the size very small. I think around 4%. And just start drawing a circle. We can do it by tapping. And it will look like this. I think I will move this layer a little. So it covers the big part of the wing. I just like the color. Alright. After we did that, we can proceed to shading of the lower part of the bird. And after that work on the colors more. I'd like to start with the tail. So let's go to the layer which is located on top. It's this one. Then I will create another one above it. And also clip it. But besides that, I'm going to use selection. But let's first pick a color. Which we can actually do right from the painting. It will be this one, with a bear. For shading, I'm going to use the same glazed ink brush. But I will be separating the tail into three parts, using selection. Let's tap here and use freehand. I will draw a line going this way. I will try to make it smooth and more narrow here. We can finish outlining it this way, then tap here, and then on the brush. Let me increase the size to around 9 or 10 percent, and with low pressure, start applying it on the edge. Now we can pick a lighter color, for example from these trees, and apply it even more right on the edge. 
and very close to the tip of the tail. We could actually pick more intermediate colors and do it gradually, but this is also fine. After we did that, we can now deselect and go to selection again. Now I will draw another line inside the tail. And finish it this way. Let's also tap here. I will tap and hold on the color to go to the previous one. And now we can start applying it. Also on the edge. Now let's do it again. And the light color will be selected. We can just paint like this. To highlight the edge. Now I'm deselecting it again and going to shade the last part of the tail. For that I will be using selection and outline it like this. Connecting it, first selecting a darker color and applying it on top. We can tap to make it brighter and then use a lighter one. It'll get texture and also highlights. I think I like how it turned out, so I will deselect. Let's keep it and now go to the swing and also work on the head next. On these small parts I'm going to do it exactly the same as we did on the tail, using selection. So let me tap on it. I will outline the first segment. Then tap and hold here to get the previous color. Lower the size a little bit. And apply it on the edge. Then use a lighter shade. Let's switch to the next part. First separate them. Outline it like this. Grab a color. And apply it this way. Then use a lighter one again. I will continue doing the same on the remaining parts. First outlining it. Here it may go a little curvy. And then apply the color. On the edge. Highlighting it this way. You can either make strokes or tap, whichever you prefer. Here comes the next one. So it may go this way. I'm applying a color here. Then on this tip and on the edge. I will also tap a few times to blend the colors together. Let's see how it looks from distance. And I think it looks quite cool. We just need to finish the last part here. So I will also outline it. Let it go this way. I will apply this color first. 
and then the next one. Also tap in and deselect in. Now we can work on the big part and also on the head. I think I will start with the head first. So also use selection and separate it from the wing. I will start from here. Make a stroke this way. And then outline it. I will also tap here to close the selection and change the color. Here we can increase the size, maybe even more, and start making strokes carefully on top of the head. I'm not pressing too much on the pencil. Now I'm picking a lighter color to highlight this part and also the beak. We can actually grab a razor. I will go to airbrush and set and pick a brush. Actually we can try soft brush, just make it low size. And erase the area for the eye. I think it's somewhere here. Okay, now we can shade the remaining part of it. So for now we can deselect this one. I think I will also change eraser to glazed ink and remove some texture from this part at the bottom. Ok, I'd like to keep this edge black and shade only the top part. To keep the texture only inside this black area, we need to go to its layer and get it selected. Here make sure color fill is turned off. Now we can go to this layer, which is already clipped, or you can totally create another one. I will apply only the dark color. So let's tap and hold here, increase the size, and just make a few strokes like this, on top of the shape. Go a little to the right. Just make it gradual. Ok. Let me go back to eraser and just make a couple of adjustments. I will make it more smooth here by erasing the texture a little. Ok. Now I would also like to add a few details inside the landscape. Just place a couple of birds. We already have this one, so we can simply duplicate it. Let me drag this one upper. Then I will make it smaller. Maybe even smaller. And place it on some green area. For example here. Then I will duplicate this one, flip it horizontal and drag it to the side. Make sure it is seen. So I will place it this way. Let me see how it looks from the distance. And I think it is fine. We can start working on the background. So we can already merge all the layers for our landscape. I'm merging it and I will create a layer below. We need to pick some blue color. I will first select the hue. 
somewhere here. And now we can actually make this circle bigger. To pick the right shade. Okay, I like this one. Let me place it here in the palette. Now I will go to selection and switch to ellipse. I will just draw a circle. Let's outline it. Then tap on the brush and select glazed ink. I'll increase the size and paint inside the selection. We can now move it, center it somehow. Now I will go back to selection and this time select freehand. I just want to remove the areas for the clouds. Draw in simple shapes like this. Just a few arcs going to the side. Then we can make it as a straight line, connect it and tip. Let's outline another shape on the right side, somewhere here in the center, maybe a little lower than this one. I will also just draw a few arcs here and then connect it. Now that we have these two selections, we can swipe the fingers down and click cut to remove them. I think we can adjust this color a little. I will make it brighter. Maybe something like this. It is also done now. And to make it look more artistic, I'd like to add a few paint splashes. For that I'll create a layer above this one. Let's go to the brush set and see what we have here. I made these stamps with paint splashes for the tutorial with photo manipulation. If you haven't watched it yet, you can find it on my YouTube channel. So I will be selecting different splash shapes. Let's start with this one, number 5. I'll pick a color from the bird, somewhere from the edge maybe. The size is set to around 18% and I will just tap. We can now move it, rotate and match it. So it goes slightly outside. To make it more visible, I'll duplicate it and then merge. Let's add more shapes like this. For example, I will add one on the tail. So let's go to change the brush first. And I think on the tail number 4 would work. I will also pick a color from here. It may be slightly different. I'll create a new layer. And tap. Let's also rotate it. And move it a little up. I think I will match it with this side a little. And I think I will erase this part. At the bottom. You can keep it if you want. I just want it to be only on top. I'll just move it a little bit and then also duplicate. In the end we can do the same with the wing. So I will first pick some light green color and go to change the brush. Let me use this one, Paint Splash 1. We also need to create a new layer, but before that I will merge these two. Before that we need to create a new layer. The brush size is set to 30%. I'm first tapping and then rotating it. Let's find the best angle. 
so it goes a little up like this I think I won't duplicate it instead I will pick this light color create one last layer and pick this brush number two the size is set to 23 percent I'm tapping and rotating it this way I will also try to match it with the angle of the wing okay I think I like it this way this time I will duplicate it to make it more opaque now we can totally merge all the layers including this background with a circle as always in the end I'd like to adjust colors and there are many different ways to do that for example you can play around with hue saturation brightness use gradient map or even export the image into Adobe Lightroom and apply different filters but this time I'd like to show you one more way so let's first create one more layer clip it go to the color palette and select this color which is called overlay I'll simply drag it on the canvas it will be applied only to the drawing because it is clipped now we can play around with different blending modes I will set it to divide also you can go ahead and change this color using hue saturation brightness option or simply pick some other color from the disk or from your own palettes and drag it instead this one you can get a variety of different colors but also I'd like to apply a texture overlay to the entire drawing including the background so I'm creating a new layer picking this gray color number 8 and draw canvas from the set I will apply it first and then change the lace blending mode it can be set to overlay or soft light just pick whichever result you like more and at this point our landscape design in the bird shape is ready please make sure to tag me if you post your drawing on instagram if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. For more tutorials and brush sets, please check out my Patreon page. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.